Wij hadden in de krant gelezen dat uh, de vermiste vrouw nog steeds vermist was. <laughs> Goed verhaal. Lead Blur. article. The paper opened with news about a little tourist plane that had apparently escaped from the Bermuda Triangle unharmed. Goed verhaal. Normally the harbinger didn't deal with such cases. But in this particular situation, there were clues and disturbing details that attracted the attention of the media. From the article, it appeared that the investigator in charge was none other than the infamous Nua Adote Adwele, the man responsible for the so-called weird cases of the HPD. I had very little to do with him, but he always seemed very antisocial to me. Good fell. Ramos was still on the run, but the experts believe it impossible that he could have left the country due to the extremely tight security checks. Mm. I hope they weren't making the same mistake as me. Underestimating that guy. Blurb. Oh, you can have one shot. The report, the host, the dog is okay. What? Potatoes, chemical reactions, and this dog? <laughs> what? Okay. What in the line went man. dead. Sounded like something shattering and a dog howling. Okay. That's a bizarre man. Yeah. Um, maar wij hadden gevonden in die krant weer een item. Een brief. Een zo. foto. Ja, een foto, ja. En die foto gingen we laten zien aan de stagiair. Een bij het uh, politiebureau. De want, HPD. Ja, want zij heeft verstand van foto's. In addition to investigating the picture, they had some other leads to follow. First of all, Lupe had told me Melsberg would return oh, ja. during the day. And I absolutely had to question him. In addition, uh. I wanted to better inspect the alley where I'd been challenged by that madman. I had to check if someone saw or heard something useful that night. We moeten naar Ellie, we moeten naar Lupe en we moeten naar het politiebureau. Ja. Maar we zeiden net al dat we naar het politiebureau gingen, dus dat wordt stap 1. Ja. International Airport, dat is nieuw, ik er ook niet heen. Ik ben nog steeds wat kauwgom op die band. Ja. Goeie kauwgom. Hello. Hi Lars. Look at this picture, Alice. Look That's at this the recently photograph. kidnapped girl, isn't it? The one you were investigating. Precisely. Do you recognize the guy accompanying young Catherine? I recognize the girl only because her picture is everywhere. I don't recall ever seeing him at all. Have you got any way to find additional information? I have many resources, my dear investigator. Ooh. I'll make a copy of the picture and I'll let you know. But I'll need some time. Good girl. Dig up all the dirt you can. Immediately, oh umpteenth wannabe alpha male. I'll <laughs> let you know. Another thing, while we're here. If I say the Italian word balsamo or balm, does it remind you of anything? Do you think this is the right time to play to word association yeah. games? I can assure you that this balm is vital to the Molesberg investigation. Saying it out loud, I know it sounds a bit stupid, but you can't even imagine how much sweat it took me to get it. I'll do a search. Maybe the word has a certain secondary meaning that we're missing. Mogelijk. Zoals mummies. <coughs> nou, dit is stap 1. Ah, mummies ingewikkeld. Een alarm hier hoor je. Terug naar de steeg. Dat is een dorp, hè, de steeg. Ja, dat weet ik. Oké. Okay. Wat hebben we gemist? That bad guy's face was haunting me. Trash, trash, trash. In dit boek konden we niks mee. Trash. Die deuren konden we niet in. I preferred not to find out what other treasures those sacks were hiding. Those sacks. We kunnen hey. wel binnen. And who would you be, grasshopper? Who am I? I am... Forget it, I don't care. You're hired as sous chef. Su sous chef? Ah, that was in Monkey that Island 2. For the job. We hung the sign outside sous -chef the door two Geldemedie. months ago, and you were the first and only one who showed up. Uh, you'll be shocked to discover that there's no sign hanging on the door. Damn Roger. He must have stolen it to use it as a dish. Such ingratitude. Mm -hmm. Anyway, there, there must be some misunderstanding. I'm just here in the capacity of, uh... Are you here to work as a dishwasher? Very well, you can start right now. It would be an honor to work as a sous chef for a professional in the business. In fact, I've, I've always dreamed of a career like this. Great. I'm Chef Tony. And from now on, your life is mine. Can I call you Antoine? No. For now, there's not much to do, so just observe mm. me and try to learn something. 
I'll find you something to do for tonight. May I at least ask you some questions? Do what you like, but try not to pester me. Okay, I'm pastel. Chef, did you notice anything weird in the alley out there the past few nights? Weird? Weird, you say? Now that I think about it, yes. Does it concern a mannequin with a bloody smile drawn on its face by any chance? No, of course not. What kind of sexual fantasies do you have in that Yankee head? I just noticed that the night before last, old Roger didn't show up to beg uh. for food like he mm. usually does every blessed weekend. Is he homeless? By now, I consider him more like a regular. He comes here because he knows that on Saturday night, okay, the leftovers are more home. nutritious and elaborate than any other day. Where can I find this Roger? Roger is a vagrant. He usually changes places, so it's hard to ah, say. Yeah. But if I was really in a hurry to find him, I'd take a walk around Nancy's. That public place on the promenade, right? That one exactly, Pipsqueak. Now go Pipsqueak, slice five Pipsqueak. pounds of fresh tomatoes, then mix them and put them on the stove with a drop of oil and a pinch of mustard. Of course, of course. Maybe in a minute. New location. I'll go back to washing dishes with Nancy's, your permission. Uh, this mayonnaise is keeps curdling. Okay, let's see me shelf. Above the shelf, I could see a grater, an empty bottle turned on its side, and some heaps of garlic. A cookbook that seemed to date back to the Babylonian civilization. Cooking station. A cooking station, as filthy and messy as the rest of the room. Uh, disgusting it contained cooking. a variety of awful, hopefully pork, liver, heart, intestines, and something else. It was a sight many would relive in their nightmares. Okay. Cashews, nay, pot. Establishing how long the stew had been in the pot would have required carbon dating. I'm gonna eat nix. Nay. That's bizarre. Yeah. Misschien kunnen we later iets met hem. Wel. Um, Oké. Okay. Nou, dan gaan we ook nog maar even naar die andere, die Mulsberg residence, om daar nog wat te vinden voordat we naar de nieuwe locatie gaan. Ja. Promenade. Hmm. Want die dude. Lupe. Weet dingen. Ja, nee. Die man is thuis nu. Ja. Als het goed is. Oh ja, die had dat gezegd. Oh, daar is hij. Who are you? And why have you entered my house without even knocking? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Lupe gave me free access. I'm Detective Bundy of the HPD. I'm helping with your daughter's kidnapping case. The HPD, you said. Am I wrong, or are we talking about that new support police department support formed police in the department. last few years? You're not wrong, and as you probably know, we average almost a 70% rate of closed cases. And of those, I can say without false modesty that almost 45% are closed by moi. You're very self-confident, Mr... did you say Bundy? Didn't seem right to thump my chest and scream my name as usual, so I just nodded in silence. So tell me, why is the HPD involved in a normal kidnapping case? We both know this is not a normal kidnapping case. You are a big shot in this town. The police asked us to help. I hope you don't mind. And most of all, I hoped you wouldn't check. At that moment, I was balanced on a fragile tower of lies. No, I don't mind at all. The more the forces that cooperate, the greater the chance that we have of finding my daughter as soon as possible. I'm at your complete disposal for anything you may need. Perfect. And remember, please don't leave the country until the investigation is concluded. He shot me a look that immediately indicated, and without any doubt, that in that house, there was no room for humor. Only for a nurse garden. <laughs> Molesberg had clearly conveyed that he didn't want me in his room. Yeah, but we were there. Yeah, we could have him. Can we not say we Mr. Molesberg? Go ahead. Right. What can you tell me about your daughter? And Catherine. I know it might sound strange given her social status, but she was a very simple girl. Everyone that knew her couldn't girl. help but love her. But at the same time, nobody dared get too close. You know what it's like. I understand perfectly. Yeah. Anything yeah, else? She loved him. music. You might think that's a family trait, but it's not. Catherine was the first and only one of us who ever touched an instrument. Personally, I know little or nothing that's about music. I have to ask, do you think piano? there's anyone who might want to hurt yeah. her? I absolutely and categorically reject the idea. Catherine had no enemies. I couldn't help but notice how Molesberg talked about his daughter in the past tense. It seemed a bit too soon for such resignation. Yeah. Yeah. 
About the sign painted on the facade. How do you think they did it? It's quite high. I have thought about it nonstop for hours. And honestly, I can't explain it. Tell me everything you but saw. This sign, that was Last night the silence was abruptly broken by a loud yeah. crash. Me and the guard were the in the behind the mansion. In the we ran outside video and found that, that blood was. symbol. I immediately thought it was blood. But fortunately, I was wrong. Okay, I have to yeah. It's yeah. just paint. There's something I find rather odd. Namely, why bother painting that symbol? By doing so, the culprit ensured the image would travel around the world and achieve the desired visibility, attracting my attention specifically. You have a very refined cognitive process, Mr. Bundy. I can understand why you were assigned to the case. I'd be interested to know what business you're in precisely. Without boring you with the technical details, my company works in the shipyards. field of shipyards. Boats? Are they that profitable? We're talking about a company that covers every sector. From little rafts for family entertainment to luxury yachts, which, believe me, very few people can afford. Right up to the construction of entire oil platforms. That must cost a fortune. You can't even imagine. For such jobs, we only agree to participate in exchange for sharing the revenue that results from the actual extraction. At the end of we the day, do. Mr. Bundy, it's always about oil. Cut all the mold. Do you know if your daughter was involved in a romantic relationship during this period? What the hell kind of a question is that? I refuse to talk about my daughter's like, private affairs. Oh yeah, like your daughter has been kidnapped, yeah. and every possible lead must be followed. So please, avoid making a scene, and be cooperative. You're right. Sorry for my overreaction. But even if I wanted to, I wouldn't know what to say. No, I don't think Catherine was having a romantic relationship with anyone. She's still just a girl. Maybe she is to you. Look at this photo. Yo. Where did you find it? I'll keep my sources confidential if you don't mind. Now, can you please explain to me why you look so upset? That picture would be very inconvenient if leaked to the press, Mr. Bundy. My daughter's kidnapping would quickly devolve into rumors of a romantic getaway, and that's a scenario I can't risk happening. I can assure you this photo will remain in my hands only. But now please answer the question. I don't recognize that man. I trust you'll identify him and then mm. report back to me. Won't you? I'll keep you updated, but bear these words firmly in mind. I don't work for you. I understand perfectly. Now, if you don't mind, I have to steal myself and regain control of my business. I got back. Yeah. But I'm suspicious. His reaction seemed disproportionate to me, not attributable to simple fatherly jealousy. To hell with Molesberg's wishes. I tear apart his room. What's wrong? Let's... Dios mio, que susto! You scared me! I didn't think there was anybody in the house. I hoped there was nobody in the house. Even if the pain is fuerte, I couldn't leave the... And then oh. I couldn't leave the Señor Mulsberg alone in such a moment. He is upset and feels that he can do nothing of use. Commendable. But now you should really let me search the room. I cannot let anybody enter in here, you remember? I get it. But I might find something useful for my investigation. Si fuera por mí, I'd let you search the whole house. But this job me necesita y no puedo risk to lose it. I understand. Don't worry. Oh, but do worry, Senora Maid. I'll get in there, no, one way or another. Just what I needed. The maid decided to be a hero right at the least appropriate moment for my investigation. I strongly felt I had to get in there. I certainly wasn't going to be stopped by a stereotypical maid talking in Spanglish. Spanglish. Tell me something else about Catherine. Lately she was having a time of isolation. Muy preocupante. Maybe because a piano competition went wrong. The kid really cared about it. She practiced for a long time. How long did this isolation last? Months and months, senor. It wasn't like her. Such a lively chica who never let nada get to her. Not even the spirits haunting the house could scare her. The spirits haunting the house? What? You think I'm loca, senor. Forget what I just tell you. What? Don't worry, I'm used to crazy lunatics. Crazy tell me more crazy about these spirits. The Mulsbergs are a muy ancient familia, and the spirits of their ancestors are still in here. Do you have any material proof? Maybe some ectoplasm, a recorded tape with <laughs> macabre, macabre children's, children's voices, voice. you know, something like that? I never saw any of these manifestations, but la señorita Catherine did. One night, while she was in the upstairs hall, she hears some whispers. 
then, suddenly, words from a threatening voice echo in the air, and a bloody heart almost hit her. What a kind of threatening heart. words? One of the ancestors' Max. motos. I read it many times while I dust on the upper floor. Madre de Dios, I'm so terrified this could happen to me too. I come from a very Catholic familia, and the bloody heart always scared me since I was a niña. I liked Catherine more and more. Taking advantage of a bloody heart yeah. and a motto uttered from who knows where, she had designed an <laughs> epic <laughs> heart. Yeah, Unconsciously, from, heart. from the past, yeah. the kid had just sent me a clue to getting yeah. rid of the maid. I should replicate that scenario myself by acquiring a bloody heart. Mm -hmm. I'll try to figure out the cursed words used by the girl to lend credibility to her story. The housekeeper told me she had read it while dusting me on the upper floor. In addition, I needed a place where I would have full view of the housekeeper, but the main door wasn't an option. Okay, Maybe the window yeah. on the upper floor would suit me. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of this photograph? I never see that man before. And yet Catherine seemed to be pretty much of her current age. Maybe a secret novio, como se dice, a, a sweetheart? I have every intention of finding out. Let's make this day of investigation worthwhile. Si puedo ayudar, estoy aquí, señor Bondi. Un heart. A bloody heart and a spreuk van the bovenverdieping. That was one of the evil gasolies. The man had an impressive tuft, the gaze of someone who stared death in the eye multiple times, and a medallion that made me inexplicably shiver. The guy had something familiar about him. I can read the thing, lady. Count Manuel Cortez Mosberg. According to the plaque. He had started a branch of the family that settled in Spain, in the autonomous community of Andalusia. But his line of succession had become extinct by the end of the 16th century for reasons not clearly specified. Archbishop Mosberg da Molina. Judging by his size, I imagine that he loved him more than God. And there was more. It seemed that his love for food was second only to his lust for women. He even forged a motto about it. The love of the Lord must be experienced in every form to be truly grasped. This obsession of his, together with his size, caused him to die of heart failure at a not very advanced age. I recall the story told by hey. the maid. Yeah. Was this Molina perhaps the inspiration for Catherine's prank? Well, the broken heart didn't match. I had just discovered the words the kid had used to scare the maid to death. Kijk, uh, waar halen we een bloody heart vandaan? Ja. Yeah. Uh, van de keuken misschien. Die emmer met yeah. met troep. Maar dat is geen hart. Misschien dat blok kaas. Wat? In onze flat, wat daar hangt in de bedrading. Je bent dit vergeten? Nee, maar ik snap niet wat het blok kaas met een hart te maken heeft. Dat is een blok kaas in die bloed dan is het rood en het lijkt op een hart. <laughs> okay. I thought I could. The tycoon's room was directly underneath. A risky plan indeed. On the other side, I had walked across a wooden board suspended in midair the previous day. Yeah. And I like yeah. to be consistent. I just had to take some more clothes downstairs. Clady. I couldn't get off the ledge yet. The bleeding heart was one of the oh, key yeah. elements of my plan. I couldn't proceed without. The bleeding heart. Kijk maar, wat dat is nu. My question. I need a bloody heart. Ik denk, we gaan gewoon in die keuken vissen uit die emmer een stuk vlees wat op een hart lijkt. Dat kan ook. Dus minder omslagzocht. Ja. En anders ga ik graag mee om je kaas op te gaan. We hebben nog dat kip. Die kip en dat ei. Ja. Jij zegt gewoon die emmer. The maid had mentioned a bleeding heart materializing out of nowhere. Maybe there was a fresh heart in there. I had to ask Antoine. Hey chef, you don't have a spare heart, do you? They constantly ask for them. Those aristocratic pigs. You can find a bucket full of them near the entrance door. To be honest, it's for personal use? I knew immediately I'd hired a beginner, but I'd hope you had at least a little taste. 
I am full of taste. I am a... You're a runt. That's what you are. Stop interrupting my official presentation. I perfected it over years. Listen, mm. Ant. Fresh hearts are really expensive, and I surely won't waste one of them on a kitchen boy. Okay, I get the message. What do I have to do to get that heart? Now we're talking. I need some special number five meatballs cooked with the recipe you can find on that counter over there. I'll need them in large quantities for tonight, so try to hurry. Okay. The preparation seemed elementary, but the ingredients would be a problem. Florida ginger? I have no idea what that is. It's a root, but I don't know its shape. Normally, my supplier delivers it already grated. And the other ingredients? Don't we have any of them already? You can find salt and pepper on your workstation. For the rest, you need to make do yourself. Ever since I threw that cleaver at him, mm. my supplier has disappeared. Oh, and be careful with the exotic meat. It must have a fresh new taste, something never tried before. These aristocrats become more and more demanding. Can I take that parmesan from the shelf up there at least? No, it's only the crust. Gosh. I keep it there to lure out <laughs> those damn rats that play with my Yeah, I like Tell it. Me about it. I've also had my share of headaches with those little pests in my place. So I'd find salt and pepper right on the workstation. Exotic ground beef? Egg? Considering the sophisticated nature of some of these Wine. ingredients, the Molesberg residence Parmesan, seemed like a promising Flor place to Florida sleep. Florida ginger is in root. Ze zit in die tuin, bij die hond. Ja. We gaan hier een checkpoint van maken. Ja, yeah, is goed. Um, wat, wat zijn we opgeschoten? Dat die man thuis is, Maltzburg. Ja, we kunnen in zijn kamer, maar we moeten de meet wegjagen, want ja. de loepen staat in de weg. Ja, en we hebben hier uh, een, een nieuwe job gestart als uh, sous-chef. Om uiteindelijk een hart te kunnen verkrijgen. Ja, dus uh, dat gaan we doen. Het recept in de volgende video. Joejoe. Doei.